back to spelling, spelling group number one. I have five more spelling words for you, so um, you can practice them and take a test on Friday, okay? So, your first spelling word for today is going to be wind. Wind. The wind knocked down that tall tree. Wind. It's one syllable. Write it down first and then compare your writing, your spelling to mine. Okay, it's one syllable. We have a I I and it's saying its first sound, I, wind. So we don't need to mark it. We don't need to mark anything in this word. Okay, the next word is race race. They will race their cars to see whose is the fastest. Race. Okay. One syllable. Okay. We have a silent E. We underline our silent words. There are five rules for using a silent E. And the first one is it's there to tell the vowel to say its second sound. So let's see if this vowel, a, 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 is saying a second sound. Race, a, a, it's a second sound. So that's why the sign of E is there. It's rule number one. We don't need to put a number one here. We just draw a bridge to the E or a rainbow, whatever you want to call it. The next word is perch, perch. You have a er as in her and a ch, k, not k, I'm sorry, ch, k, sh, perch. Last week we studied birds and we we discovered that there are birds in a group, birds that perch are in a group of their own, perch. We have a er as in her and a which has three sounds, which one are we using? Perch, Ch is the first sound. We underline it, we don't need to put a one. The next word is saw, saw. I saw him running to the bus stop, saw. We're gonna use all that you may use at the end of an English word. Remember that because it's gonna be on your test on Friday. Okay, saw. There is another ah, multi-letter phonogram. You need to remember this one too. It's, this is ah that we may not use at the end of an English word. Why? Because English words do not end in you. So we use this one, okay? Your next word is Left. When you get to the end of the street, turn left. 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 Some people write with their left hand. Okay, so we have a vowel, e, e, two sounds, and this one is saying e. Left. Now this has several meanings. It doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean which direction as in right or left. It also means he left school on time. It means it's the past tense of leave. Um, remember we have past tense, present tense and future tense. Past means it's the word you use for telling it happened in the past. Present means it's saying it's talking about now and future, it's going to happen. So we, if it's past, we say left. If it's present, it's leave. And if it's future, then we need to add a word to saying he is going to leave. Okay. And that is it for our spelling words. There's five spelling words from today and I gave you five on Monday. So you'll have 10 spelling words on Friday and you're going to have, I I'm going to give you 10 multi-letter phonograms, and I don't know which ones they are yet, but they're not going to be the easy ones. 
like like E double E always says E or shh, they're not going to be the easy ones. So study your multilateral phonograms video and we'll see you on the uh, Friday for the test. All right, bye-bye.